Hey everybody, I just uh, wanted to do a quick update. I just got back from the aquaponics convention in Denver, Colorado. It is um, the end of September. I can't remember the date. I just got back from Denver. So, um, I mean, literally within an hour, we got just got back from Denver. So, um, I wanted to do a quick update on how hard it is to plant um, slips or to get slips from. Um, your sweet potatoes or four sweet potatoes. Um, first thing you do is get yourself a nice organic sweet potato at um, at your farmer's market. Um, and so here we go. We've got uh, and then just uh, jammed it into the uh, hydrogen. And so then we got all these uh, leaves and branches and slips growing off of it. Um, and we got another one over here as well. Now these are actually all of these are chives here um, or green onions, whatever you like to call them, that are came from seeds from this big monstrosity that I actually need to pull up. So, uh, yeah, but back to the um, back to the sweet potato. Here we go. What we do is just pop them off of there. Just pop off these branches here, like this, just like this. There you are. Here's one that's already growing. Um, so, and this is what you do. This is how tough it is. There you go. Shove it in there. Shove it in there. There's this one over here. We'll break that off. Shove it in there. Okay, here we go. There you. That's it. Um, and then uh, give it about a week. So uh, we'll give it about a week, and um, we will have nice slips that then I will be putting into this raised bed over here. Um, actually, I took a class from uh, Murray ha Murray Hollum um, while I was there at the aquaponics convention in Denver, and uh, he talked about wicking beds. So I may be whipping up a, a wicking bed before everything's done here. So, yeah, um, here we've got our butternut squash still kicking butt. Yep, so there you go. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. Thank you.